Hi, I'm Mark with the WD Purple product team and I'm joined today by Louie from LTS. Welcome. Thanks for, Thanks for being here, Louie. So today we're going to talk about an exciting new technology and the latest in advancements in artificial intelligence or AI video analytics that are provided by LTS. Now, Louie, when people think about analytics, um, they think about them coming from the camera. Uh, but in some cases, the analytics come from the camera. In some cases, they may come from the recorder. Yes, it depends on the type of cameras that you're using. Uh, a lot of times we are split up into two different styles. We've got your analog based cameras, which use the DVR for the recorder. We also have your IP side, uh, so IP cameras using NVR. The difference between those two is that your DVR will actually do all the analytics itself on the recorder, uh, whereas your IP side all the AI, all the detection methods and everything are done on the camera and then it sends whatever it finds out to the recorder for processing. So there are some uh, processing that has been able to be done on the MVR itself. Uh, so yes, there are you know, different types of... Happens in both locations. So mm -hmm. let's, let's start off diving a little deeper into the camera side analytics. So with LTS, uh, you have your Motion Detection 2.0 or MD 2.0 technology. Tell us a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. So the cameras themselves, yeah, they do have your MD 2.0, uh, which stands for Motion Detection 2.0. You can use that for motion detection. You can use that for any of the other detections available. So like your intrusion, your line crossing. And what that entails is it's able to do a selection. Do you select uh, your human detection or vehicle detection or both? and it's just filtering it. It's got the AI in there to know that, hey, this is a person, this is a vehicle, or neither. So if it's neither, then it kind of filters that out. It doesn't tell the recorder that, hey, this is important information because if it's none of those attributes, then it doesn't record it that way. And that's all important to help reduce or eliminate false positive alarms. Yes, yes, because back in the day when you were using these cameras without the AI, you need to have a security guard that's just sitting here while going through all the footage. Oh, I see something happening. We need to alert somebody else on that. And so it takes a lot of, uh, takes away a lot of the actual uh, manpower and a lot of the things that you would actually need to have it more efficient. Okay. In addition to, uh, to detection of uh, analytics, LTS also has a deterrence system, right? Called Active Deterrence. Yes, we do have one called Active Deterrence. Active deterrence is uh, your camera is able to know that, okay, we've got uh, your motion detection 2.0 that we uh, talked about earlier. This works in conjunction. So if it sees that, okay, so this is the cause, what's the effect? So um, the cause is going to be your motion detection 2.0, which is triggering your active deterrence, and your active deterrence is going to be either a audible or a visible uh, kind of way to kind of alert whoever is at that location at the site. So let's say a person walks in, oh, we don't want that person to be there. So of course, let's play a siren, play a message, flash some lights and kind of scare them off or at least make them look up so we get a good shot of their face. So it's proactive and preventative trying to uh, stop a crime or an incident or an event before it actually happens. Yes. All right, you mentioned uh, vehicles as well. So uh, can the LTS AI system also do LPR or license plate recognition? Yes, we do have LPRs and with the AI that's built into those, um, we've got a couple things. It's able to know that, hey, this is a license plate, this is important because the older technology is going off of like OCR software. So it recognizes, okay, we've got some text here, but you know, a lot of times the text is not just for the license plate itself. We can see like text on the side of the truck. It takes that, you know, and says, oh, this is something important. This is a license plate. Whereas the new cameras now, you know, with the built-in AI, it knows, hey, this is a license plate. This is the location where the license plate is supposed to be. And along with that, it also has some additional information. It's able to determine what's the color of the vehicle, what's the brand, what's the style. Is it a sedan? Is it a pickup truck or a van? it's able to kind of give you that information. So later on, if you're needing to search for certain uh, types of vehicles, then you can just punch in what your requirements are and it does an advanced search. That's, that's really exciting, very powerful 
to have those features. Can it also be used to set up uh, triggering alerts as well? Like if a certain class or type of vehicle or a certain license plate drives through the, the, the frame and is recognized, can you alert your customers on that? Yeah, definitely, because the cameras, they will also have a whitelist, blacklist. So if it's a license plate that you're wanting to search for, allow them to go in a certain area or don't want to be in a certain area, it will actually send a trigger, which goes back to your recorder, your recorder can then act, uh, activate and notify somebody to say, hey, we've got something that's happening that you probably don't want in the area, then you guys can look at it and see what's going on. Great, those are great advancements in, in the technology. It's come a long way since uh, its initial offering. Mm -hmm. um, now let's talk about another developing area, facial detection and also facial recognition. Yeah, a lot of the cameras now, they will have um, a face capture. So in the frame of view of the camera, if it sees a, a person's face, it can actually take a snapshot and it records it. Uh, other cameras, they will actually have face recognition. So it takes a face and if you have a database that's available, it can say, okay, this person is that person that's... So the camera sees this person, it goes to the database and says, okay, which one is gonna be the matching uh, person on file that's in the database to so kind of recognize with a pretty good accuracy. Yeah. All right. All right. So those are some of the, the leading uh, camera side analytics from LTS. Now, you also mentioned that there are recorder side analytics. So let's talk a little bit about that. So on the recorder side, one of the primary use cases is additional processing and refinement of information that's already been generated from the cameras. And then they come to the recorder and you do additional processing. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a few uh, different ways I can do that. One is if you're on an older uh, camera system, as far as a camera, you're on an older style camera, may not have the built-in AI, it basically will send the information to your recorder. Your recorder does your AI processing for that. So it sends a raw video stream incoming where analytics aren't available on the camera. Mm -hmm. And then the second side is, okay, your camera already has the AI built in. It does the first uh, separation or first kind of uh, filtering and it sends the information to your recorder. Your recorder can do additional filtering. That way, you know, we are guaranteed or more often likely to get uh, weed out all the stuff that's really not important. Okay, so it further refines. And again, it's all for reducing false positives. Mm -hmm. and and making uh, yeah, more better, more accurate recognition. Yeah, it reduces the time needed the, you know, for people to actually go back and say, hey, is this really important or is it not? The machine is able to do a lot of that. Okay, and then can the recorder also then generate its own notifications on, on the events that it's detected above and beyond what the cameras have seen? Yes, yes. On the back of the recorders, they will have your alarm input outputs. So it's usually like a, like a relay. So if we're needing to send it to like a like a security system monitoring, it can do a, it can kind of send a signal for that. Uh, it can also send a notification out to your app. Uh, so your phone app, you've got the for your phone or like your mobile device or computer. It can send it that way. It can also send out an email. So there are a lot of flexibilities on who, how, and who to alert. And it sounds like with the LTS system, you can send it out to different types of devices or different systems to different people that need to be notified about events that are happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's not always a, a time where, okay, we've got a security guard sitting here behind a computer watching it. Sometimes it's just, you know, oh, we just need to receive it on our phone. Somebody rings your doorbell, okay, let me pick out my phone, see who it is. And so, yeah, different ways to do different things. All right, so Lou, we've talked about camera side analytics, recorder side analytics. There's also another class of, of analytics, and it's really designed to improve the health. Uh, so it's not about security and safety necessarily, but it's about the health and reliability of both the recorder and also the hard drives that are stored inside, that store your data inside the, the systems. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you tell us a, a little bit about what LTS does for the recorder health, the self-checks? The recorder itself, it will have uh, different types of tests or kind of, I won't really call them tests because they're going to be running when your recorder is on. So it checks for different stuff like uh, disconnected connection, like your network connection, uh, maybe uh, your hard drive's got issues. 
which that actually has a lot of advanced uh, tests for that, like your not just your basic smart test, which all hard drives have, it also has what we call your WDA, which will work with your Western Digital hard drives. Uh, yeah, want so, to do a little bit more information. On that? Yeah, thanks, Louis. So WDA is Western Digital Device Analytics, and it really is for the hard drives that are installed into LTS recorders. LTS has uh, done some engineering work to make sure that it works, you know, along with your notification and event systems. And it provides a whole another class of monitoring on just the health of the drive itself. So uh, most of most customers may be familiar with smart technology and, and smart um, alerts and notifications. So WD goes beyond that and provides 17 additional monitor metrics. So it looks at the surface of the disks and the, the platters where the information is recorded to. Um, it looks at the recording arm, the actuator, and how much distance and how much use it's had um, over its life cycle. It looks at power on and, and power off data and information, which is especially important in video surveillance. As you know, it's a 24 by 7 environment. Uh, these devices don't really have on and off switches and neither, neither do the storage drives, the WD Purple drives that are included in these systems. But WDDA, again, monitors all the different health metrics on the, the hard drive itself, well above and beyond you know, what smart information provides. And again, it's uh, integrated and utilized on LTS recorder systems, um, on uh, particularly for WDA Purple and Purple Pro hard drives. Yeah, I like the fact that when you go into the menu system of these recorders, you look up the WDDA section, it puts it in like layman terms, it's not gonna be some technical jargon. Yeah, so it's not only monitoring uh, for health information, it also provides, uh, through LTS, provides a list of recommended corrections or course of actions that you can take. And like you said, it's in installer and layman terms. So you can take action on it and, and prevent failures. So Louie, I'd like to thank you again for joining us and telling us all about LTS advanced analytics that are both for camera side, recorder side, and also for storage health and recorder health.